We have a new player in the ultralight backpacking chair market, the Nemo Moonlight Elite. Not only is it a new ultralight chair, it also has some unique features that we've actually never seen before. From the first looks of this Moonlight Elite, still in its packaging, it looks pretty cool. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it really compares to the Moonlight Original. When it comes to camping and backpacking chairs, this Nemo Moonlight chair has pretty much been like the king. Like the bee's needs for me. But what there is, we just picked this up. This is the Moonlight Elite. When comparing these two chairs, this one has been awesome, but... Two pounds, two ounces, but that is in its container. Well, and most people do take containers when they take their chair. And there's a primary reason for that is when you look at the chairs, and most every chair has some kind of sharp point. And I've actually have a hole in my backpack for jamming something in there that yes. without a case. But let's just go with two pounds, two ounces for this guy, which is a lot for backpack. Yes. Now, if we look at this, this is one pound, two ounces. And it comes in at one pound, 6.3 ounces with everything included in it. Okay, here we have the first problem. 1.6 ounces, but yet the packaging says one pound, two ounces. And nowhere in there is there another number. So let's actually open this up to see if there's anything extra packaging in here. There's a very large instruction sheet on the inside. And no, so let's just weigh the chair itself. This would be the chair and the legs without the package. And that is one pound, 2.5 ounces. Okay. So, so that's where this one pound, two ounce number is coming from. It's just the chair. chair. Chair and the arm legs without the... Basically without the case. Yeah. But the case also plays an important role. Well, not right. important, but aside... Potentially it does. Yeah. I mean, so I guess that's going to be a question for you is if you're going to... If you're really wanting to watch your ounces, you know, you need to... Just for comparison, this yeah. is the Helinox Chair Zero in its case. It is one pound, 2.3 ounces. So it is lighter. And that's actually what it's advertised as. Yeah. This is the REI Flex Light Air. And it's one pound, 1.1 1 .1 ounces in its bag. Yeah. So these are basically one, one pound chairs. Mm -hmm. This is basically a one pound chair, but With, without a case. Yeah. And it doesn't, yeah. Okay. Let's that check out the rest of the chair. <laughs> now it's out of the package. Let's see what we have. We have a, have a handle up here, which you can hang in your gear closet. I like that. Could you technically hang it off your backpack too, if you had to? Actually you could. And then instead of having like a Velcro strap, there is like this little hook. Yeah, that's not the easiest. There is another kind of a, like a handle. loop there. And it's made of a feels plastic meshing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's similar to the uh, Moonlight original, but it doesn't have holes. This is like uh, just a thin, yeah, thin mesh. Yeah. And when you open it up, this is how it comes. And this is the chair platform. So if we slide this out. Which is a, a new concept to me all in itself. This is basically goes down on the ground. Your chair goes in here. And in theory, this is going to stop your chair from sinking into the ground, which is a problem, especially in our area. We have really mossy stuff or you're at the beach mm -hmm. and then you sit and pretty soon you <laughs> just start sinking down. It mostly goes down. Which technically, I don't know if I had a problem with that with the moonlight because the feet legs are a lot different. <laughs> well, before we go any further, this was technically not needed with the original yeah. moonlight because look at the size of these huge yeah, the feet. Are feet. They're just gigantic and they, they don't sink. Yeah. When we were using this up the lake, I, I was sitting in the Helinox and <laughs> my both of my back feet, like every five Slowly. minutes, I would, and I would sink down and this no one never sank once. Yeah, it was awesome. We really like that. So we have the platform and then of course we have the chair piece and then the legs. So as you can see, there's a lot smaller feet on it, almost like a pointed tip. Put these together. Almost stab myself. <laughs> stab you. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think it's this way. Yeah. And then we here and like that. Oh, there we go. First impressions. 
Um, it seems smaller than the other one, which probably is why. Let's bring them both <clears throat> up here. Oh my goodness, it is quite a bit smaller. Oh, it's a different angle, too. So these, uh, the nubs are smaller. Of course, the feet are smaller. The whole footprint seems a little bit smaller. It's just everything's just a little smaller. Just a little bit smaller. This seems not as hefty as these. I yeah, right away, <clears throat> this feels more like the chair zero, the helinox, mm -hmm. the way that everything fits together. There's a little bit of slop in there. There's not a, well, there's a little bit, but when you're sitting in it, the tension, which actually once we put the chair in there, we'll see if everything tightens up. Okay. I do really like the colors. It's this black and then it's got this red tips. Orange. Oh. Color right. coordinated. And one really big change that these Nemo chairs have with all of the other ones is normally when you have these kind of chairs, these just slide into a pocket. Well, these have this rubber. We'll compare the two difference. This is the original. And you can see the size difference of that. Hopefully you can see size difference. I mean, this is probably, this twice is probably at least yeah. twice the size. And this is pretty rigid, pretty heavy. There's a little ball and then these pop right in. On the bottom here, if you're confused, not by the orange, but it literally says bottom on there. The color coding's nice, yeah. So when you just snap them, pop them in. There we go. Now did that tighten everything up? Oh yeah. Yeah. So did. all that slop that was in there is, is gone. <laughs> That's a funny way. You mean wiggling? Yeah. Slop. Yeah, so that is a nice light chair, do you have to say. For comparison, let's put together the original. And so these are not <laughs> color coded, so you have to get them in the right way with sound. Top, we because the Nemo. Go. I think these are a little bit You harder. have to really push hard on these to get them in. There. Now that they're set up, let's do an actual comparison. There's a little size difference. This is a couple inches it's, taller. Yeah. The, the This side is pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. So the, the height of the chair is actually going to be the same. And that's actually one thing we do like about these chairs, or at least this chair, yes. is the, the seating height and the angle. Yes, the angle is the big thing. And if you look at the material, this is almost like it's like a yeah. mesh, but the only not thing mesh. I can say is like a it's a plastic weave. Yeah, but it's it's almost it's solid, feels though. solid, but it's not. If I blow on it, I can blow through it, but it's definitely not going to be as yeah, because this as actually this. has holes. Yeah, literally has holes in it. I can put my fingernail right through it. So, which will be very interesting with temperature because or the cold from getting up. Yeah, we just we would put a ZC in there. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see since this is not holy. I would think that's will... going to be a warmer chair. Yeah, I would think it's so as well. Let's talk about the load capacity of these chairs. Um, this one is 300 pounds, and this is 250. Where the Helinox Chair Zero is 265. Yeah. Well, they, I think they make a bigger version of this they that do. goes up to like 300 pounds. It's a little heavier. Mm -hmm. On the packaging, it has several features. We have the forged aluminum hubs. Uh, that is where the connection of the legs come in together. So that's all aluminum? That's all aluminum. The legs are on as well. And then the streamlined suspension system. This is what makes it be able to recline. So this is actually quite a bit different. This has these really big wide straps and then it has this kind of like a tube and you push and pull to adjust the, how much you recline, yes. which actually is really pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. And on here, it's just these Dyneema straps. Yes. And then you just push okay. and pull on this and it, it just sticks in place. Yeah. I think it's one of the best features about these chairs is the reclining feature, personally. Yeah. Because I can actually sit up a little bit when I'm eating and whatnot. It, it worries me a little bit. The, the, it's just like this little tiny string. Yeah, but but these are Dyneema. Dyneema is extremely strong. Yes, they say it's actually, uh, they use it for rock climbing. This is by far the biggest difference than any of yeah. these other chairs that we've tried. None of the other chairs have this platform. They call it the platform pack carrying case. And it says it's a tool roll style case that doubles as a stabilizing platform for use on soft or sandy surfaces. When we look at this, it's all mesh except the ends have some hard plastic to keep you from going through, I think. 
So there's a pocket on each corner and instead of like trying to stick your hand in there and do that, you can just stick your hand in the loop and pull the loop up. Yeah, it actually works really good. The only thing that I would I'd be a little cautious about is right, if you put this in mud, you're gonna have it it's gonna be covered when you're packing it up. It's gonna be yeah. dirty. I don't know. It's just a different a different style than I've ever seen before. Potentially it could make for a dirtier pack, but I kind of do. I mean, I like the concept. I do like the concept because especially if you're in sand, you're going to be sinking in. Yeah. So. And it doesn't. Yeah. It does easily come off. So you're scooting around. It's going to stay on. Mm -hmm. This material actually is a post-consumer recycled polyester mesh. So it's stuff that they've used from previous stuff and have recycled it. And Put it to another use, which is pretty awesome, actually. It looks nice and sturdy. Mm -hmm. Let's give this thing a try. Mm. Here's the Moonlight Original. Sit in it. Okay, this is fully reclined. It's nice. And so when we want to bring myself up, say I'm eating, I just pull these and I'm up a little bit higher. So it's, it's a really pretty comfortable seat. Okay, so one thing to note is that it says that when you're sitting on this, do not grab onto these when you're sitting down. I'm just gonna straddle a little bit. It's nice. It just feels like this one, but uh, just a tiny bit slipperier. I think it's just the material. Okay, comfort level, if you had to rate them, what about this one? Um, that's the top, 10. And that one? Um, I would say mm, eight. Only because it digs a little bit right here. And I feel like I'm going, I don't, I don't feel as dirty in it. Okay, sit test. Go with the original. This one that is super nice because it, if you can see when I'm shaking my butt around, it doesn't wobble a whole lot. I'm adjusting this. Easy, I like that a lot. And this is without the base platform, which shouldn't make a difference on the carpet, I'll little try. Okay, one big difference right away is this holds its shape and stays out this immediately sucks up against your body. So these things are pressing up against me. Same thing on the back. It does come look underneath here. You can probably see it pinches a little bit right there. I'm wiggling and I'm actually really happy with how, how much these don't move at all. Let's pull through the back. So when it's reclined back, I don't notice the pinching as much down here so that everything's looser. It's definitely not as wide as this. You will notice that if you're used to one of these. Overall rating for me, if I were to, I were to give this, I'm gonna give this guy a, just comfort wise, like a nine, 9.5. Comfort wise here, I'm gonna go with a seven. Seven when you're leaned back and I'd go maybe like a five when you're forward because it, for me, it really does pinch. And if you're a bigger person, you're probably gonna notice that a lot more. So let's try it and put this guy on and see if the chair feels any different when the base is on. Okay, so that's different. I don't think it feels any different when you're sitting in it. It does make a noise when you sit down, I'm not sure why. You just kind of start saying, excuse me, every time you sit down. It's very consistent on making scrunchy noises when you're sitting in it. I think what it is, is it's rubbing this foot against this material because it pushes it out actually. I know a lot of you are probably going to want to compare the Helox Chair Zero against the new Elite, the Moonlight Elite. So size-wise, you can see they're very similar. It's the Helox Chair Zero, just a smidge taller. If we put them side by side, they're, they're width-wise, they're pretty identical. I would give the Chair Zero just a smidge bigger. Let's compare the two here. So this by far is my favorite chair, comfort-wise. When you sit in it, it just kind of hugs you. It almost like feels like a hammock when you sit in a hammock. You can see it tucked up a little bit, but there's still some space in there. It's not putting excess pressure here. And if I sit here, you can see that it's resting right up against me. 
I am not the biggest fan of this chair. Um, I find that it, um, I find like this is the one that I kind of slide out a little bit and these dig into my arms. But like if I'm just reclining, I just, these are just right in my armpits. <laughs> it's very nice. Um, oh, it's low enough that it doesn't, but these still kind of dig into my back a little bit. Again, I think I, I feel like I'm going to be sliding out of this as well. So comfort between the two for you, what do you give that one? Like a seven maybe. Okay. And what do you give this one? Maybe like a seven. <laughs> I'd say they're pretty comparable. I like being more upright, which is why I love my original Moonlight. And that's actually one reason why I really like that one, because you're really reclined. Yeah. One to 10 comfort rating. I give the chair zero a nine. Comfort rating compared to this guy, we're gonna go with a five, five, six. Final thoughts. For me, I think this actually is a cool chair. There are some comfort issues with me, but they're not for killing. So that's where I really think like you got to sit in one of these. Yeah. yeah. And it's going to change for every body type. It has some really cool features I like. I, I really like this. That's really cool. This platform thing, I think it's going to be. It's going to be really interesting to see how it does out, yeah. out in the wild. And think? of course it has the weight feature. So if weight is really important to you, this is a good, nice, I think that this is a nice chair for that. Though. The whole thing is like, this That's is a, extra this weight. is a complete package to me. Yeah. I mean, you don't sell something, you don't sell a pair of pants with like half of a leg <laughs> and you don't weigh everything with half of a leg and be like, it only weighs so much. So to me, it's a little dishonest to say this is a 1.2 yeah. pound chair. Cause it's not because you have to have the case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if you don't want to have the case, awesome it's going to be just as nearly as light as the chair zero nemo has great warranty so yes. if anything happens to it in theory they will take care of you this is really going to be the best chair for somebody i mean we've already proven that that body types just yes. feel different in every chair if you're wanting a cool reclining backpacking chair or just a camp chair i mean you don't have to be backpacking with this try out the moonlight elite go check out this video next you can find us at explore and we'll see you next time Bye bye.